You're not the type of follower the mirror requires. Don't talk to me. Talk to the one in the room. Who are you? Why do you invade our place of worship? Surely, you don't think yourself worthy to visit Namira's shrine. I have no idea what's required. Alright. I mean, I, I don't mind the fact that I, I don't meet some kind of Good requirement one. necessarily. What? Yes. I, I remind yes. the fact that I have no I idea what's the requirement. Don't talk such How in the hell am I supposed I to be able to Not ever bad. meet it if it... Yes. Yes. Just Whatever you say. Completely goddamn random if I can meet it or not. A place of blessed darkness. A holy place where we may worship in our wretchedness. Why are you here? I wish to worship Namira. You do? You are too pretty to worship in this place. People like you like to hear you talk. When you are more loathsome, you may return. Good what the day. fuck does that mean? I've learned from the followers of Namira that they will only summon the Daedra for someone repulsive. If I am to get their help, I will need to make my myself less attractive to others. You must be level 5 to begin this quest. Yeah, I think we might be up for it. Mm. We need to basically... I think destroy our own attributes. Where's the negative coming from? We have drain effects. Diseases. Wait, what we need is something that destroys our attributes. Uh, I'll make a spell. A frost rock spire is lo uh, closer. Uh, damage attribute. Actually, drain attribute would probably suffice. Also, I don't really have damage attribute uh, abilities. Uh, drain attribute. Self. Personality. Call this Namira. Only has this one use. You dare approach my shrine, child of the light? You, who walks this plain, basking in the light of the warm, cruel sun? Prove to me that you deserve my favor. In anger, my forgotten have lived in peace for many years. They worship me from the dark, basking in their misery and filth. Now, though, some would seek to bring light to their darkness. Priests of Arche have intruded upon their squalor. I want you to help my forgotten kill these priests of the light. Cast this spell upon the priests. 
allow my beloved forgotten to kill the interlopers. When this is done, I shall reward you for your efforts. When summoned, Namira spoke to me about the Forgotten, a group of fanatical worshippers that lives in the darkness of Anga. Some priests of RK are planning to bring light to Anga and save the Forgotten Ones, and to use the spell that Namira has given me on the priests and let the Forgotten Ones finish them off. So I don't even need to really do anything. Probably a specialty ability. What is it though? But seriously, because we have so many spells, it's hard to say what. Let me rush around. One feet or 220 seconds on target. Out we go. Ooh. I don't think I have to do any real fighting. Just need to be an instrument of the Daetra, our Lord. Yeah, there's some risks in the run, just outright running down a hill. Get a zigzag. So, follow light, shoot light. It must bleed. No. Save me! No! Uh, no! Stop by the light! Arcade! Uh, no! Save me, Lord! It's an interesting concept. The light. Okay, light of help. Us. Cleanse the by the light. Okay, save me, Lord. Honest my ass. <laughs> Grand Necklace of the Sea. Frost damage, 40 points on target.
Hey, where haven't I been? All of the priests of RK are dead. I should return to the shrine. Leave us, creature of light! See why the level the requirements aren't all that high. You don't need to do a goddamn thing. If you don't open the secret room, there's really no threat to you. You have cleansed my followers' perfect darkness. The Forgotten are free to wallow in their misery. Take my ring. Let it bring pain to others who would wish it upon you. Namira blesses you. Namira appreciated my efforts. I have been rewarded with the ring of Namira. Reflex damage 12% on self, reflex spell 10% on self. This is by far the best reflex uh, ring so far. 9% damage has been the best one. I think I have it. Yeah, 9%. I'll take 12% plus spell reflection. Seventy percent physical immunity. Not bad at all, and we can get it to seventy nine percent if we really want to. No need. Okay, well, now what? I'm thinking of doing uh, the Imperial City loop, if we spot something. It, it's been such a long time before I moved anywhere around there. Just follow the road, basically see if we spot something. Uh, we are doing bit for Daedric Shrines. There are also some bridges here I haven't traveled with. Goes right out of the Imperial City. Mm, we could consider buying a horse, doing the horse armor thing. But it is literally a horse armor. You get up armor on a horse, so it, it's not like it's a play, playable content really. Uh, there's shrine there, but it's we visited. We have the Mephala shrine. But it only was visible for like a fraction of a goddamn second. I wonder if it's just distance, because it, 
that seems to imply that we have maybe have like a ring like that more or less that we can detect things but nothing outside of that so I have no idea what's there for example no idea at all and if I went through here I still wouldn't have viable way to do it might be to just try to go for any kind of site then see what are the nearby sites and go for an, on, on, to another and another and another the I idea would be that you try to map everything that way you sort of get an idea where you have been and where you haven't been by where the where you have map icons where you have not There's certainly not going to be any more closer to the Imperial City. So they would all be in the opposite direction. We could sort of lean a little bit uh, in that direction as far as the road is concerned. How much have we traveled? More or less from uh, here to there, so what a third of the way. Uh, I'm not sure if I've ever traveled here. I mean, there's clearly something. But there's no markers at all here. Because I ignore certain type of markers, though. I think that's the much more likely explanation. It's out right, don't visit them, so it can seem that uh, I've never found anything. Yeah, I, I think it made a lot of sense. When the goal was to basically visit everything, potentially. But now it makes no sense, because what we're, we're really not interested in a lot of the fortresses or the caves at all. But uh, we don't ma find them as map markers. <sighs> we never can say where we've really been and where we haven't been. There's uh, some sort of a settlement here, I want to visit that. If I have been here, it's been a long time ago, because I would have visited the settlement normally. At least how I now try to crop sport. How I now just, uh, explore. Right at the start of the game, I didn't care. Now I do. So... Looks like a destroyed settlement or under construction. These are quite often for requests. I'd say they're almost always requests, but usually the place where you get the quest is fairly close by. There's nothing here. Uh, 
I think we're gonna change our way of exploration starting now. Rather than ignore map markers, we should go after them aggressively. Map everything. Because we're, we're not interested in loot. If we find something interesting somewhere... Uh, we'll naturally do it. But we'll also ignore caves anyway. Even if they're mapped or not. There. A rat. Winderbeck Cave. Doesn't appear to be anything interesting here. I'll follow the water, the uh, larger lake. And continue on with the original plan. Actually, I think I already have this naturally through the ring. Yeah, don't need to cast it. Bandit camp, fortress. Fort Cedrian, look miserably small. Also a bit odd. Crestbridge Camp. Hello, Father. Ooh, these are not bandits. Heard any news from the other provinces? Hello, my friend. A word of advice: watch for goblins if you're heading north. Watch out for them if you're heading north. We ran into goblin war parties northwest of here while starting to build a new settlement. My family and I are still trying to figure out what to do. We spent everything we had to buy the land and supplies, so we can hardly go back. Say, do you think you could help us? We need to get the goblins off our land so we can start building our new settlement. I'll help. I had a good feeling about you, friend. You should talk to Marisa about the goblins. She's our guide and knows what needs to be done. Have you made any pro- uh, Tell me about Marisa. She's a wilderness guide we hired to lead our expedition to Cropsford. Saved our lives when the goblins attacked. It's northwest of here along the yellow road. You'll see some of our supplies near the road where we left them when the goblins attacked. We plan to call it Cropsford. My daughter Kalia, her husband Alois and I came all the way from High Rock to start a new life here. We have a charter from the county. Everything done official and by the book. I'm sure now that they knew all along that the hand was in goblin territory. But no matter. Who cares if a few settlers get themselves killed? Farewell. If it's about Cropsford, please talk to my father. He'll know what to do. My father hired her as a guide at an inn south of here. Good thing too. She saved our lives and led us safely back here after the goblin attack. It was my father's dream for us all to start a new life there. He spent everything he had to buy the land. Now it all seems to be ruined. 
Ars El Ghanad is my father. I'm worried about him. I think it'll break his heart if we can't build Cropsford. Everything was going well. We had set up camp at Cropsford, and it looked like a beautiful spot. Then the goblins attacked. Thank Ifra that Marissa was there. Without her, the goblins would have surely killed us all. How day. If you need anything, talk to my father-in-law. This whole expedition was his idea. If you ask Barthel, it's the garden spot of Tamriel. See for yourself. It's just northwest of here. But watch out for the goblins. Barthel Garnet. He talked us into selling our comfortable house in High Rock to start a new settlement here in Cyrodiil. He read something about cheap land being offered by the government. Of course, nobody said anything about the swarming goblins. We had just set up at Cropsford when Marissa came running in. Said goblins were heading our way. We barely escaped with our lives. Goodbye, Blackwood Company. The Fighters Guild has a new master, and Orion is back. You too. Hey, where's the guide? Is she back at the inn or what? Is it Barth? Well, I'm not met. saying Colobians are dumb. Warm yourself by They're our just fire. Hard -headed. You've agreed to help them clear the goblins from Cropsford? That's great news. I've done some scouting around while we've been camped here, and it looks like Cropsford is right in the middle of a goblin war. The caves around here are infested with goblins. Normally, goblins stay close to their lairs and wouldn't be a huge problem. But two tribes are at war, and their war parties are crossing right through Cropsford. What you'll need to do is stop the war somehow. So, genocide? Goblins have their own reasons for doing things. Don't make sense to us, usually, but I've learned a lot about their ways over the years. Each tribe guards a head in its lair. Whose head, I don't know. A sacred tribal totem, or something like that. Anyway, if you want to rile up a goblin tribe, steal their tribal head, which is often what a rival tribe does, just to prove they're tougher. I'd lay odds that the war between the two tribes is because of a stolen tribal head, nor the reason for a war to go on this long. So to stop the war, all you need to do is sneak into Timberscar Cave, find the stolen tribal head, and return it to the Crackwood Cave Goblins. Unless you want to do things the hard way. What's the hard way? Ah, exactly my words. Well, you could always just fight your way into Crackwood Cave and kill their shaman. Every goblin tribe is led by a shaman, but she mostly stays hidden in the heart of the lair, well protected. But kill the shaman, and the tribe will dissolve into confusion most likely end the war. Like I told you, there are only either kill the attacking tribe shaman or recover the tribal head from the rival tribe, which is likely the cause of the war. Neither one sounds like a picnic to me. The two nearest are Timberscar Cave and Cracked Wood Cave. Here, I've marked them on your map. Unfortunately, Cropsford is right in between them. Follow the yellow road northwest from here. You'll see the sup Good Sounds like an actual goddamn quest. Uh, recover the totem head from the goblins in Timber Scar Cave. Let's try that first. Fuck. And don't I mean, underestimate if, the goblins. The if same. things go badly, I can just Everyone kill all the things. So survival strategy at this point. Uh, what's my standard summoning spells? The Daedric Lord. I don't think this is a good one, but... Uh, ah. Seriously.
be a test of our sneaking skills. We'll fight if we have to, but we can do this easily by sneaking and stealing something. We'll sneak and steal something. If I go there, he'll spot me. Probably a leader of some sort. I don't see how I could get through this without something like invisibility. So very likely we're gonna go into a fight. Also... This could be a likely lip location for a shaman, not exactly the goblin head. Minor clusterfuck. Yeah. So 
we came to one place where we didn't really want to come. We're gonna just kill all the shamans. Probably an easier thing for us. Goblin totem staff. Uh, I guess this is the head. Right. How do you sort of return it though? So there's no friendly encounter with goblins, so I'm assuming I just need to drop it somewhere. Recover the totem head from the goblins in Timber Scar Cave, which would stop the war between the two tribes and leave Cropsford in peace. But, uh. What exactly do we technically need to do? Go to the other cave and just dump the totem there. I think I'll just go there and kill the shaman if I can't figure out anything else. It's it's not it's not particularly harder for us anyway. And I'm not quite sure what exactly am I expected to do. Do I even have the correct uh, totem staff or is that the wrong one? But we would just murder all the goblins, the problem goes away. It's not like there's a guarantee that another war doesn't break out and the settlement is just as dead as it is now that happens. I guess I got it. Or do I need to take it? Right in front of their cave, I presume. Ooh, that's a lot of goblins. He has a staff. Right, right, right. I see what's supposed to happen. Now I have both staffs. 
I've taken the totem head from the goblins at Timber Scar Cave. I should turn to Mirissa and ask her what to do next. Oh shit. Feel free to do something. I'm terribly disappointed here. So I guess I'll go and ask Marissa what to do. He's the expert. Actually, I'm not sure I will. I think there's a group of goblins coming after us because we have the staff. I don't want to leave them to the camp. We'll see. Dangerous part of the world, apparently, and the goblins are the least of their problems. Well met. Amazing! You actually swiped the stolen head right out of Timberscar Cave? Ha! <laughs> Those goblins won't know what to think now. You don't really need to do anything else. The Cracked Wood Tribe will stop attacking Timberscar Cave once they figure out the head is gone. Of course, now that you have the head, you could create all sorts of mischief. Well, for instance, you could give it to any other goblin tribe. They'd boast about it, just as if they won it in a war. And pretty soon, the Cracked Wood Tribe would launch a war against them. I'm not sure if the Cropsford settlers would be all too pleased about you stirring up a new goblin war, though. Farewell. So I don't have to do anything else? Let me know as soon as... You took care of the goblin menace? That's great news, my friend. Now we can get back to building our new lives at Cropsford. Please, be sure to come and visit us in a month or so. You have earned a hero's welcome. Come back in a few weeks. You may be surprised at what we can accomplish. Aloys! Well met. I can't thank you enough for your help. You gave us another chance at a new life. Good. I hope I can... I guess we won't be going back to High Rock after all. Cropsford is going to be our home now, for better or worse. Good day. Not exactly enthusiastic about that. That's understandable. Right. I'll continue my way further down south. This seems to yield some nice results. Nothing related to Daedra though, but that's acceptable. Any quest is welcome. 
In, in fact, that's probably one of the more interesting ones. Fairly mundane issue, really, but you would have options, different options to handle it. Settlement locations, even when there's no quest for them, seem to be a good indication that something interesting is nearby. Oblivion Gate looks like a road. This uh, cave, a Daedric Shrine. Go mark them. At least I know I've been here. Sage Glen. That's a conjurer. Another camp. Mecha Maintain. Right. Mm, I'll go... Pretty sure this has been... No, no, no. This is probably fairly well-traveled. Probably. Mine. I think we'll be quick traveling back to the Imperial City loop. Deserted mine. Mm, nothing nearby. Probably nothing in this general area. I've never been here, but uh, it's hard to say where I haven't been and where I have been. Yeah, because nothing is ever marked on the map. I'll take a quick look to the northern side of the hill. Then uh, do the good travel. There has to be something besides the fortresses. There's the fortress. Though, so, I guess not. Another barren land. Uh, it's near the water, I'll mark that and do the quick travel. I just want some kind of teleport up. Uh, quick travel location here. Crayfish. Right. I want to travel the Nocturnal Shrine and this area again.
Baron Mine. Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. Uh, this was a quest a long, long, long time ago. I, I went there. I don't think I ever visited any, any place. Simply nothing in the detection range. That is amazing. Right, we did uh, plan to make new summoning spells. Morahame. Uh, that was fam uh, that was a necromancer chapel of some sort. Nenalata. Right. What we want is uh, get somewhere around here. Hopefully without luring too many people to crop support. Her scene shrine to the north would be a good compromise. Other sides close by. Some sort of bandit camp? Probably. Sweetwater Camp. Port Alicia. A boar. Horses. 
I haven't seen horses like this before. Wild paint horse. Mm, fat back cave, some sort of a goblin cave. Conjures. I'm not really walking by the road, I'm going for map marker to map marker. There's, there are plenty here. Charcoal cave. Still, we can't exactly ignore the road totally. I um, probably have found all the more interesting locations near the city itself. Homestead. Mm, I think I'd like to go a little bit south and uh, approach this area. Uh, maybe Blood Main Cave. Sort of used to center the move. We should uh, cover the Skimgrad County fairly well. So, northwest. Any map marker will go, will go after it. Elite Ruin. When you and uh, Wick, Fortress, cave. In, in, in. Hot hole caverns. Grab my. There's a fortress there. Why can't I see it? Uh, we were somewhere around there when we spotted it. About 20 seconds uh, 
travel from when we spot it to when we arrive at it. A lot of a lot of danger crap. Yeah, the detection distance is uh, shorter than I initially managed. I mean, thought for a long time. I don't think I've basically covered uh, these areas nearly as thoroughly as I think I have. What is this? It is not marked on the map. Not the Priory of the Nine, it's something else. It is... Isolated House. Well, they named it properly at least. It's a random house in the middle of nowhere. Seems like someone lives here though. Bandits. So this could have just as well been a, a bandit camp. Mm, I suppose it uh, could be a base of operations for some some sort of person, at least temporarily. Right. It's not really yielding many results. Got a single quest and that's it. Uh, why did I go to Silorn? We had to have a quest there, but what? Not that it really matters, but still. Ah, uh, it was the mages killed. Right. We have an ambush there with three battle mages that. that sort of never went any way how we planned to do it. Okay. There's a camp. There's an Aelid Druin. There's a cavern. They're all here somewhere. Camp is close by. Colorbone camp. Nornal Horst.
camp, cave, housing cave, some sort of a, a, a fortress. I'll go to the camp first. Fortress seems to be where skin grad is. Grillbach camp. Could be vampires. Or very skilled casters. I bet it's some vampires considering this is near skin grad. Fort Blastaris. Right. So something like this is what the normal area looks like if you go to every place there is. It's not super populated, but it's there. There are very, very few totally barren areas. Right at the edge of the map, can be you can find some, and even then, there's an occasional uh, mine or something. Mm, looks like we might have to just go after another, another guild. These guilds would probably be the best choice. Might as well mark it. There might become a time, uh, come a time where we have to go to an oblivion gate and we need to find one quickly. Ah, cemetery. Another Oblivion Gate. And the music stopped. Another oblivion gate. See, ooh, there's the Daedric Shrine. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Hmm. 
I think we should see do we have any followers. I want to lure them into the shrine area. You not do yeah, there's definitely someone following. Still, if I can't see anything, I can't really do much about it. Meridia is one of the good day drop. What business do you have with Meridia, Lady of Infinite Energies? The spark of life is within you, and you are welcome here at Meridia's shrine. It is possible she will speak to you under certain conditions. Leave an offering at this shrine. Meridia demands tribute in the form of the remains of her enemies, the undead. Mm, crap. I'll be here. Oh, there's a settlement there. To kill an undead creature. Shark Rock. I wish I could be more hospitable, but I'm a bit distracted. It seems I'm having a bear problem, and I just don't know what to do. I'll help. I've had attacks on my small flock of sheep lately. I was hoping that building a fence would solve the problem, but it hasn't helped at all. Then, one day when I was just about to step outside, I saw the culprits. A group of west-wheeled bears was dragging away a sheep carcass. There's no way I can fight those ferocious beasts off on my own. If you could thin the population a bit, they would probably leave the area. Okay. I'll tell you what. Kill six of the things, bring me their fangs as proof, and I'll reward you well. Please, you're my only hope. Don't see why not. We can leave Meridia for another time. Because he asked for fangs, uh, the... They're probably special bears that just pop uh, here bears. whenever I go out. So there will be a map marker directly to the next bear and the next and the next and the next. Loot them immediately, one at a time. Guess they're in th groups of three. They would have to be fairly close by. Number four. Oh, 
One remains. There we go. Perfect. Miserable job, but uh, thankfully not that lo lengthy. Ooh. See somewhere else. A little bit of farm work, maybe. What time is it? 9 a.m. Why the hell are you locking your door? God damn it. I've obtained the sixth and final West Wheel Bear Fang. I should return to Shark Rock and give the fangs to Thorley Ithridale as proof of my deed, but uh, he's not coming out. It's literally lock picking. So it's not some kind of a visual mistake there. I don't get it. I mean, he is home, that's where the map marker guides me to the house. What kind of timetable does this guy have? I can always break in and talk to him once, but then I would have to bail and it's very risky to go inside after that. This guy doesn't seem to have any existence besides this one quest though, so I'm not particularly worried. Still... I don't really get what the problem here is. I'm thinking of just breaking through after the morning. He might not mind it. It could be that he's basically locked the door because of some sort of mistake. So uh, if you go during daytime, he wouldn't uh, really mind breaking it, that I break in. I'll go in after 8. I don't know where those bears came from or why they picked my place to attack, but you must drive them away. Done and done. I can't believe it. You actually did it. Well, I hope this will eventually drive them away. There may be a few stragglers, but I think this should do it. Now, how about that reward I promised? Mace etiquette. Come back and visit me any time. I can't get out of the goddamn house. This is a new one.
Alright, better read the book while I still uh, remember what it is. Blunt skill improved. Whoop we do. Either way, we do have a day request again. So. I'm sure I must have bone bills somewhere. After the Meridia quest, uh, not sure what I want to do. We could go after the DLC uh, Maroon's Razor quest line. By Azura, by Azura, by Azura, it's, it's a Daedric artifact, but it's not really given to you by a Daedric Lord. Surprising little bone meal. Right. How close was it? Yeah, it's again very close to the road. So I don't think the tactic of uh, sort of not necessarily going by the road, but going uh, aside by uh, along the road, maybe like one centimeter off, you could e then you would easily catch these type of sights. There are a couple of others would, that you wouldn't catch, but uh, I think a lot of these are more or less notified by when you ask about data cults. The ones that are close to the roads are not mentioned. But using that tactic, combing these areas, for example, would take a huge amount of time. Because you have no continual awareness where you've actually went through. You can sort of see that you decide to go in a certain direction, but it never is a straight line, so you sort of go a little bit all over the place. Uh, still, at least we've got, we've got this. Meridia. One of the few that Probably doesn't require us to do some really shitty thing. More or less, we have to get rid of undead. 